And in today's video, I actually want to let you guys know about this brand new method on how to literally get the lowest amounts of input delay in Fortnite Chapter 3. I got a whole lot of benchmarks prepared and I'm just going to explain everything and also show you afterwards how to apply these steps properly just to make sure that you guys have the lowest amount of input latency in Fortnite Chapter 3. If you guys enjoyed this content, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. I've heard any further news. Let's get straight into this topic. First of all guys, I'm going to show you the results of input latency tested here in Fortnite Chapter 3 before applying this new secret method. You can see straight out that on DirectX 11 we get around about 13.7 milliseconds of input delay, on DirectX 12 we get 11.4, on unperformance mode we actually get 11.3, which makes performance mode really bad actually in comparison with DirectX 12, I mean that's like 0.1 milliseconds less only. But guys, there's this brand new method and let me just put something here on screen. As you guys might know, there's this brand new NVIDIA latency reflex mode which you can enable super easy in your Fortnite itself. And you can see here performance mode with the reflex mode turned to off gives us 11.3 milliseconds of input delay. The performance mode with reflex on already gives us only 10 milliseconds. And if we utilize the performance mode with reflex on plus boost, we even get down to 8.4 milliseconds of input delay. That's literally so crazy guys, that's almost 3 milliseconds less, but it gets even better. If we now take a look at DirectX 12 with the reflex feature turned off guys, we can see that we have 11.4 milliseconds of input delay. With it turned on, we already have 10 milliseconds. But if we finally utilize DirectX 12 with the reflex option set to on plus boost, we even get down to 8 milliseconds of input delay. This is more than 3 milliseconds less guys and also less in comparison with the performance mode and all these features turned on. And guys this is just simply crazy because usually you can't access this mode so you kind of have to bug your game to enable it properly and I'm just gonna show you in a quick tutorial actually how to do it and huge huge shout out to Siege Gods who leaked this on Twitter. Without him I wouldn't even know that this is still possible in chapter 3. I thought they fixed it by now so therefore guys see you just in a second in game. And yeah guys as you can see I'm right now here in my Fortnite and we're just simply gonna go here into our Fortnite settings and once I scroll down a little bit here in the video section we should see that I'm running right now in the performance mode so what I want you to do guys is first of all switch over to DirectX 12 if you aren't already on it just simply hit apply and restart your game so therefore see you guys just in a second again so yeah guys and as you can see here we are right now already in game and yeah we can definitely see that we're running the game on DirectX 12 so we're just gonna open up here our settings and actually stay in the video tab and just scroll down a little bit until we find Nvidia Reflex Low Latency and then we just simply gotta put it now onto on plus boost which I already did here in the background and here it comes down now to the part you know some people still don't really like DirectX 12 how it looks like and everything but you can actually get this on plus boost feature also on DirectX 11 or the alpha performance mode it doesn't really matter you just simply have to once launch your game switch over to DirectX 12 make sure that this is enabled and if you now actually go into the performance mode guys this is still gonna be running in the background you know we kind of glitch this option because usually in the performance mode tab this wouldn't be a waiver but if we first of all switch as mentioned to DirectX 12 then we can go to the performance mode and still utilize it just in case you guys don't like DirectX 12 because I know you have to play for a while before the whole entire map renders in you know you have to play like multiple games before it runs like really stable in terms of FPS so you can do the same thing also on the alpha performance mode um so you can do the same thing also on the performance mode or also on DirectX 11. It literally doesn't matter, it works for both. So therefore just simply take the mode you prefer the most. But as mentioned guys, on DirectX 12 it runs the best. So I just simply leave it here on, on boost. And then we're gonna go here onto apply, you know. And if you guys run additionally your RTX card, you can also of course put your DLSS onto performance just to give you even more FPS. And with that said, we're just gonna go here back and we already saved everything and yeah, we're done here. And yeah guys, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. This will help out so, so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I'll try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome, I'm out. Peace. That shit too light. Big four, oh, come get inside. Diamond Gucci.